I've decided to have something a little different this morning. Uh, change from the usual taco, burrito, breakfast bun, fast food menu that you fall into a crack, a crack and just keep having the same breakfast over and over. But at least I eat breakfast. It's not like a friend I know that he says three cups of coffee and three cigarettes and he's ready to go for the day. So I'm going to make waffles this morning. Haven't had those for a while. They're easy to make and that's what we're going to have is waffles, scrambled eggs. Simple. Well I could buy pancake and waffle mix in a box but I prefer to make my own. It's so simple and half the price or less. Uh, you need self-rising flour. Now those of you who have never used that you ought to try it. It's simply flour with the baking powder and salt already in it. You can make your own <clears throat> by a cup of regular flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt and you've got the same thing. But it, it's virtually the same price to buy it either regular flour or self-rising, so I always just buy the self-rising. And actually in breading it, it makes a little bit more crispy and fluffy breading on fish and things like that than regular flour. And for waffles for two people, you need one cup of flour, half a cup of milk, one egg, a little sugar, and about oh, two pats of butter. I'll break the egg in here and whisk that in there and then I'll put in about two pats of butter and just let it whisk in with it. It's soft, it's up on the counter and it'll whisk right into the batter. Whisk the flour into the, I mean the egg into the uh, milk and put in about half the flour. And whisk it in first. It, it's a lot easier than putting it all in at once and trying to, to whisk it in. See how quickly it uh, goes into it there. No lumps, lumps or anything like that. This is also a good time to add about a teaspoon of sugar. That ought to be about enough. And I already see this is going to be a little too thick. I'm going to have to add a little more milk, but that's beside the point. Start working that in. Well, I'll add a little more milk to give it a little more liquid uh, state. That's the butter there, and see how soft it is? And it'll whip right in, whisk right into the into the batter. And it leaves little little lumps in there, and I like that better. It's like in making biscuits. You don't want to uh, put oil in there and just beat it into it. You want little flakes of it in there. It makes them a whole lot better and a lot lighter, and just works better. Now that's about the way you want your batter, where it runs off the whisk like that.
Okay, now I'll turn the uh, waffle iron on to preheat. Okay, the little green light's turned on, which means it's preheated, so I'll open it. And by the way, this is a little paperware, and it's just the right size for two people. And you want to spray that with ham, nonstick, and then just pour some of the batter in there. It'll spread itself as it's cooking and boils. Now when the green light goes off, it's supposed to be done. I was wrong, the green light goes off when it starts cooking and comes on when it's done. And the steam coming out of here, you can tell on it uh, how it's doing. Let's check it now and see what it looks like. Well, they're perfect. Put the other two on. close it on those. Okay, the green light has come on and the steam is just about to quit. Check it. Yeah, that looks like those are done too. You know, these racks on here, the plates on here, uh, go in the dishwasher and it looks like the last time it was used they weren't washed and that's remains of some old waffles there but so what okay there's the four waffles I'll unplug the waffle maker and I hear the ham talking to me over there saying it's ready to have some eggs on it Ham is hot. That's all it needs is to be heated. And I'll break three eggs into it. the eggs around and let those cook. Okay, looks like one turn here to cook that other side. A little salt. And pepper. And that's ready to go onto the plate and head for the table.
and here it is on the table ready for breakfast and it looks good and I'll taste of it and see how it really is.